Okay, I figured it out. Apparently, we have to, to hit this again. Apparently, this opens up a brand new area. I don't know if we're doing this right or if we're about to make big, big regrets, but... I gotta go with it. Because this is... I think this is all I got. I don't think we've actually been over here. This is all... I won't tolerate weakness. Yeah, we've not been here, right? Everybody nod and smile. Agree with me. Or wait, have we been here? I don't think so. Um... Because there's stuff here. There's like... Oh, stairs. Follow and then... My lead. This? Wait, did we make this murder? We did make this murder. So we have been here. Okay. Wait, and then this... This was all us. Okay, wait. So we, we have, in fact been here so if we go oh i see so back to the circle but what happens if oh it's this okay lol it's this i'll lay claim to the stars uh accepts access cars the clinging of moving bolts indicates the door has been unlocked this is what we needed for him i think okay good love it when a plan comes together let's hope i did it right Okay, spooky. None shall stand in my way. Oh god. What is that? It's moving. Why is it moving? Why is that? No, no, Owl Cow. I need to talk to you about your pile of moving corpses like that. Numerous wires and pipes run into the filthy cages, which are filled with what looks like a conglomeration of human bodies. You cannot make out who is in the cage, but bright blue sparks flash intermittently in the darkness, while the mass of flesh twitches and shudders. Boyfriend? Heinrich casts a scrutinizing eye over the cages before withdrawing his weapon and approaching to examine what lies inside. Careful. Look at it! He gestures towards the cage closest to you. Through the metal bars you see it's truly a pile of human bodies. Or something that used to be. The monstrosity deformed bot the monstro let's start that one more time. The monstrosity deformed bodies have fused together in places while others were severed and using saws and knives, leaving wounds seeping pus and slime. Wounds that are agulatinating and sprouting tendons. Rods connected to wires that run to a nearby cogitator bristle across the flesh. One human head turns towards you. Mercy. Even it, attempting to speak causes the mutant pain. He bears the agony and forces out the words mercy. Make it stop. Um... All right, our Medicaid failed, unfortunately. You peer at the pulsating mass of flesh. Beneath the thin film coating the skin on this monstrous creation, you can see the throbbing vein that snakes through the flesh and flowing yellow ichor. The creature looks like a conglomeration of several bought people squeezed together by brutal hands into a single hole. What is this? Heinrich takes a look at his surroundings and once again fixes his attention on the contents of the ne nearest cage. I'm beginning to have some idea. The Lex Mechanic mentioned the inhabitants of the lower level who had been imprisoned in their homes. He said some of them were brought here. The cultists did something to these poor people in their own home, and now they have they are studying the results. Some kind of slag waste disposal and chaos symbols on machines. What are the Arch Enemy's minions doing in the place of the lower levels? To know the workings of the dark sorcery means allowing corruption into oneself, he scowls. These are warp mutations, no doubt. Perhaps there was some side effect. That is why they were brought here, to be connected to the censors and cogitators. Even fallen tech priests who have rejected the Omnissiah are driven by a perverted hunger of knowledge. Why are they hooked up to the cogitators? Heinrich carefully studies the screens of the computing machines. Uh, lingua technus, corrupted by the scrap code, I'm sure. It's unlikely we'll be able to extract anything of value from their data crypts. Thinking, Heinrich clenches his fist and bites down on a knuckle, then recoils when the mutant from the nearest cage reaches a hand out through, to him through the bars. You! A female face watches you. A female face watches you from within the gloom of the cage. Even through, even though half her head has been turned into a mess of bone and lump and growth, her single eye looks at you with a surprising amount of intelligence. You promise! You promised us! Her words are echoed by the voices deep in the cages. Heinrich leans towards the cage, but at a sufficient distance to ensure that the mutant cannot reach him. 
Who are you talking to? What did they promise you? Who are they? You! You took us from the inferno! You promised us a reward! You! Her face contorts in a grimace and the creature's lips stick together like melted wax. I'll be damned. They can still speak. They remember the people who did this to them. Heinrich balls his fist into a powerless rage. Then he frowns in thought. Perhaps a little biomancy will allow us to draw fragments of knowledge out of them, or it will trigger further changes. Not missing Pascal's sober interest in the proceedings, which he is dutifully recording in a data slate, Abelard raises a brow. Esteemed Magos, these are your comrades. If I may ask, do you feel any compassion for them? Or at the very least, regret? Regret for the losses that these poor people represent the Adeptus Mechanicus? Negative. What I am currently observing is not my tech comrades, but merely their biologically functioning remains fashioned into a specimen of an unnatural perversion of technology. I'm under no directive to feel any affinity for such specimens. What do you want to do? My psycher abilities allow me to speak, allow me to affect the human body. It's one of the most effective tools to use against individuals who resist the questioning. If you're suggesting that I want to use it, I think you're getting a little ahead of yourself. The effects of the warp energy will likely lead to an explosive reaction. I do not know the precise mechanism of this mutation. The result could be even more monstrous than its current state. Hmm. So you can iconoclast Heinrich let this go. You're prolonging their suffering. Or if there's something that will make them talk, we must use it. Hmm. Oh no, I gotta think on this for a second. So from what I, like, I can't find anything. Like, I was kind of curious if this would affect him at all. And like relationship with him but i feel like we're like we've gone iconoclast this whole time i feel like this isn't tess uh you're prolonging their suffering he nods i'm inclined to relieve their suffering every moment of existence in such a state is pure torture for the people locked in these sheaths uh it seems to me your mind's already made up these people need deliverance from their suffering like i just can't see tess letting him do anything that a might prolong it and be hurt him in the end. Heinrich wavers for another moment and then leans over the cogitators. Each mutant has a cable attached. I may not know the nature of these machines, but it isn't too difficult to increase the voltage. Ah, this switch here. You hear the crackle of electricity. The wires glow with blue sparks and the creatures locked in the cages drop lifelessly to the floor. The sharp tang of burned meat hangs in the air. And that's that then. But you, do you know what bothers me, rogue trader? The number of people here. They're too few. The lower levels of a similar manufacturer are inhabited by millions. What happened to the rest of them? He shakes his head. I know I won't like the answer. Let's go. We still haven't done what we came here to do. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. That's, that's what I'm afraid of. I was afraid you were gonna say something like that. Honestly, I was very, very, very time. afraid you were gonna this utter words. This place is steeped in corruption, mm -hmm. which means that it must be cleansed with fire down to the last crevice. I love that Argenta Sister, likes to, yes. tame your fervor. Your zeal is laudable. Yes. But first, I must ascertain the intentions of the arch enemy, not crush his manifestations without a second thought. He brings up a good point. We do need to know what's going on. Um, data vault? The massive cogitator grows out of the metal bulkheads like a grotesque tumor. A hollow roar sounds from deep within the metal housing. Whatever spurred the computer into action, it has enough power to supply a small command center. As soon as your eyes fall upon the cogitator, you feel a tingling in your temples. Every nook, every component of the machine radiates a sense of wrongness. One that is difficult to explain, but no less palpable for that. It is as though the construct, construct itself defies the laws of physics and perspective. Heinrich makes a warning gesture, his voice ringing slightly with tension, is threaded with disquiet. Stop, Tessera. That's creation of the arch enemy. Don't go near it. You have done enough for me and my mission. Don't put yourself at risk now. But we should do this together. Right? As soon as Heinrich takes another step towards the cogitator, it emits a deafening shriek like hundreds of metal needles driving into toughened glass. As though sensing the stranger, wincing, Heinrich approaches the control panel and bends down towards the screens. Despite the heat clogging the room, you feel an ice-cold breeze. 
Heinrich is clearly using his Psyker ability to try to fend off the pernicious effects of the Chaos Artifact. The Omnissiah's grace has not touched this object. This mechanism was not desecrated, but born flawed and unnatural. Iron most profane, Pascal unhurriedly produces a data slate. Initiating observation log, let not fear stand in the path of knowledge. I'm going to approach. He shouldn't have to do this by himself. Heinrich is too engrossed in his examinations of the control panel to stop you. You draw closer to the science section of the cogitator housing, which has several thick cables running from it. With each step towards the flickering screens, you're feeling that the cogitator is watching you with rapidly blinking eyes grow stronger and stronger. Up close, you see that besides buttons, switches, and toggles, the cogitator casing is also covered in strange writing. Um, let's see. Oh, hello? No? Is this not? There we go. That's a 41. All right, let's study the screens. Yeah, we succeeded. The cogitator displays a wall of text on its screens. The string of symbols is a senseless mixture of numbers and formulas and unfamiliar characters. There seems to be no logic to it. And yet there is no doubt that the cogitator is computing calculations on a prodig prodigious scale. All right, let's try it. You study the runes carefully and suddenly you feel a lancing pain in your eyes, followed by a sharp pang to your chest. Uh, you leap away from the cogitator with your heart pounding and rustling in your e rushing into your ears. In your ears. Look at the cables. A bundle of cables is coming from the broken side panel of the cogitator. They were clearly added after the machine came off the manufacturer and production line. Wires snake along the floor and disappear inside a maintenance hatch that leads somewhere down below. We'll take a step back. You take a step back and suddenly one of the cogitator screens changes color, becoming bright yellow. Your eyes are helplessly drawn to the bilious hue. Yay, willpower succeeds. You turn sharply away from the screen and you can almost feel invisible shackles falling away. The realization comes a moment later. You are not fighting against your own curiosity, but against someone's malevolent will, which has now lost its hold on you. Keep your distance and wait. A minute passes, then another. You watch Heinrich examine the cogitator. His eyes scan the screens, his hands darting from the reel to the lever, sometimes hovering uncertainly over the next switch, which immediately receives a coating of frost. At some point, you hear his voice almost whisper, barely audible above the clanging roaring of the machines. Sacrifices more and more sacrifices every minute. Heinrich looks at you, his dark eyes now, appearing almost black in his white face. Hecatome Detter Minins? The womb of this cursed machine is down on the lower levels. The auxiliary and numerator control the system from delivering molten waste under the manufactorum main, ma a manufactorum's main building. This cogitator is fueled by the energy harnessed from thousands of people who are flowing beneath our feet as slag waste as we speak. I cannot even imagine the reason for sacrificing all these people. It's inconceivable. Now we know why the fabricator sensor prized this monster so highly. The cursed tech priest and his associates created something that went beyond the limit of the Omnissiah's power. This machine is designed to process myriad possibilities using warp sorcery. It has almost finished its task. It, it predicted the future, Tessera. Are you all right? He tries to muster a reassuring smile, but it comes out looking more like a grimace. I'll be fine. It predicts the future? How is that even possible? Do not attempt to gain any insight into the essence of the machines corrupted by the Arch Enemy. At least, not if you value your soul. I have encountered the heretics' mechanical abominations before. To truly fathom their nature is to allow a particle of death into your heart. Be silent for a few moments. The fruit they bear, no matter how abhorrent their instruments, the fruit they bear could be useful. Heinrich's clouded gaze suddenly clears and he glares at the cogitator. No, no, no. The cult's filthy ravings are not worth that. We can extract it from its storage drives. will be enough. Um... We need to let the... No. We need to stop the cogitator for the sake of the people still alive down there. Uh, oh, wow. So this is this is all because of... A, that's really... I actually really like this. Heinrich vacillates for another second. Also, that's a really good word. Uh, then shakes then shakes his head as though clearing away mental fog. I almost succumbed to the arc enemy's old tricks. They'll hurt the unattainable. The primary of all traps that chaos sets for unwary souls. His movements are exact and purposeful, unlike his earlier operation of the cogitator. And one after another, the cogitator screens begin to fade to black, and the roar coming from inside the machine quietens to a barely perceptible howl, in which you imagine you hear notes of dejection. 
Heinrich bends over the keys and flinches as if from electrical shock. His head snaps back unnaturally. You see his lips moving. The cogitator lets out a roar that grows louder by the second. <gasps> no! Oh, no! Demon! Demon! I'll see you destroyed! Oh, good! Oh, good! I was hoping somebody would say demon! Uh, Cassia. Uh, here? Test test. Okay, um... Pascal. Let's play with the demon. Argenta! You want to light a demon on fire? Uh, Abelard. A little closer. Actually, you know what? Yeah. No, let's... Let's put Argenta here. Because then she got a straight shot. All right. Let's do this. Then let's do this. If I may. Yep, you may. You absolutely positively may. And we've already got. We have to be careful of uh, how much. I am a navigator, not a servant. Tash uses her stuff. Is this? Yeah, it doesn't cost any points. Just do that. That's my girl. Did you see that? That's my girl. Argenta, you ready? Okay. Girl, just shut this thing down. Oh, goodness. I didn't even think. You As know what? The Emperor commands, just I don't miss. I know, I know. Sometimes Argenta gets a little, little out of control with the bullets. It's fine, okay? We love her anyways. Faith just without deeds let is her worthless. do it. You'll be fine. Okay. She says doubt is for the weak. As the Emperor Don't be weak, I everybody. That, that's a hit. She hit and she hit hard. Ah! No, 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 no. What just happened? Oh no. Why did it pause? Oh no. Okay. Well, we're going to stay here for a minute until this this person is done. I can't believe it. There we go. What is Okay. Okay, good. Good. This is great. This is fantastic. This is everything I had hoped for and more. Like this this is what how I thought we would end today. Yes. All right, Pascal, get this guy. Mm -hmm. This. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do this. Okay. Um. Yeah. And then. Okay. Good. Tess? Tess. Nothing how, I can't do. How are you right now, Tessera von Valencius? How are you feeling? Mm hmm Because I gotta tell you, girl. Suits my purpose. Not not doing great. <laughs> how did you hit her? She was so far never mind. I don't wanna know, Tess. I legitimately do not wanna know. How you accidentally hit her. Can you just heal? We, can we can't lose this duo. Again. Okay, good. She can see bright colors again. Okay, Abelard. Indeed. Okay, good. I will do like you it's been a while since I've seen the warp. Hello, warp. How you doing today? Okay, great. This is fun. Love this for everybody. Okay, you coming in? Heinrich! Okay. Anybody else feel like this dude is way more important than anything else? Naturally. Okay. Good, he missed. Okay, good. Now, because if we can get him down now, can you just do that? No. 
Okay, wait. Okay. Holy terror! Smite your enemies! Is that oh Let's crap, that's what it. it was. Why did I I thought it was a my, I apologize in advance. My brain 100 percent broke right there. Like there was a hundred percent brain breakage. Okay. The pink horrors suck, but but I didn't want him calling him more. That's that was whoa oh god the herald. Just a minor setback. What? Enjoy your luck while you still draw breath. Y'all, we're fine. It's fine. If you insist, Lord Captain. Tell him to get back Isn't in that this fight. A job for the serfs? Y'all, we're fine. We're fine. Me. Don't worry. If you insist, Lord Captain. I mean, though, like, if you wanted to worry, oh, that would be great too. Okay, you totally hit the wrong person, but I love you, so that's okay. Um, Argenta, you need to heal. Blessed be the hand mm -hmm. of the healer. Yes. Blessed be the hand of the healer. Uh, do I'll that. Do it. Each strike is a prayer. Can you? As the emperor commands, I act. Okay. No, you can't hit them. I forgot they go blue after. Oh, great. Weak. Okay. I'm sorry. She out of control some days. Okay, Pascal. I have a question. Can you just do that? Thanks. That actually works out great. This. And then just... Can you... No, you already did your hit. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Hi, Tess. Hi, girl. How you doing today? It's been fun, huh? Nothing I can't do. Opposing was your biggest... Did I just really give us momentum? Okay. Abalon. You right here. This. My brother. You do this. Okay. One parried you, one didn't, but that's still better than nothing. Ay, 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 ay! Smack her back! No, you missed! How do you miss? Heinrich. But this. of course, Lord Captain. Now this. Let's see to it. Um, okay. Y'all, this is this is a day. More trouble than it's worth. I know. Okay. Um, let's do. I'll see our foes obliterated. You come here. Now do this. Oh no! Wait. Can you only do? Eh. Do that. Naturally. Nothing stands against me. One more. For the throne be gone. Okay. Now this. Let's see to it. I think you can do one more hit. I'm done with this okay. one. We got momentum again? What in the But of course, Lord Captain. Okay, he's out of moves, but I'm gonna bring him the here. The Emperor is on our side. No 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 no. Can you if tell him to get back in the fight? Love that for us. If that's Isn't a test. A job for the serfs? Allegedly. Allegedly. Hit him. Did you miss? I don't even want to talk right now about this. Wait. Let's do that. Uh, let's do this. Already done. And this. And then do that. My time is now. Let's see. One hit, two dead, you three dead. That's my girl. All right, Argenta. Like, where's the safest place to put Argenta so she doesn't kill everybody? Because, like, see what I mean? 
like here. I will bathe this, this battlefield is in righteous fury. Actually, that's still gonna hit everybody. Um. As the emperor, Yolo. This is why I was chosen. Okay. That's I'll fine. do it. We're fine. That is not the emperor's will. All right, Heinrich might get hit. Heinrich, just dodge for your life. Life. I can't even. Pascal, come here. The knows all, comprehends all. Hit him. I think this ends it. I venerate you, machine spirit. Vital function successfully terminated. Who's left? Nobody. Heinrich stares at the smoldering ashes of the demon and then at the destroyed cogitator. The pharaoh on his brow slowly smooths out and his face looks almost contented. The creation of chaos is no more. I hope the fabricator sensor did not have time to pass on the secrets of this creature to his associates. I hope that the survivors down at the lower levels can hold on until we liberate Kiave Gamma. Um. I saw something happen to you. What happened when you touched it? He jerks his head and waves away the question. His movement's sharp and unnatural. We'll talk about it later. But right now, he settle, his eyes settle on you. I must thank you. Without your help and cooperation, I doubt I would have reached the depths of Kiava Gamma and learned the truth behind my agent's dispatches and reports. I would never have ended up here, and I would never have succeeded in hampering the cult's activities. Dare I hope, esteemed interrogator, that your keen interest in the Von Valencia's world has been satisfied. Oh? Apart from the fact that the world is still seized by the Arch Enemy's corruption, its populace is infected with heresy, and the once sacred machines of the Manufactorum have been turned into a weapon against humanity? Quite satisfied, yes. My business on Kiava Gamma is concluded. It's time to return to the mission that brought you to the industrial world. The only thing I ask of you is an audience when we return to the ship. He bows his head to signal that the conversation is over. Okay, so is it safe to say we did everything this time? I don't know. I have no idea if we, I think, I think every, I think every single inch of this ship has been explored now. Ship, planet, whatever, wherever we are. I think Tessera von Valencius needs a nap. She needs to see what's on Auntie's cogitator. Uh, everybody uh, needs more than what we can provide them. Um, oh, goodness. What is that? Do I want to know? Uh, oh, screen shows. Okay. And then there's this. There was this one. This one. Uh, shows. Okay. It's all the same. All right. Anybody else have anything else they want to do while we're on Kiava Gamma? <laughs> I feel like everybody had somebody that they could talk to on Kiava Gamma. Oh, it's like kind of the smallest zone that you get uh, in this area as far as like doing other things because like it's it's just the manufactorum. And like, so it should be quicker in theory, but it's not at all. Um, So we still need to go back to the ship we've got auntie's like data that we want to go through claim to the stars. and then we also have um obviously heinrich to talk to then we got to conclude whatever we got to conclude for this area and then after that um what is it after that i know yearlet has got the thing to finish and jai wants to host a party and then i think we could finally uh be coronated but i'm not sure uh, I'm sure 12 other things will pop up in the meantime. I, I am impressed, overly impressed me. by how long uh, Act 2 has been. But we're almost there. 